Everyone's obsessed with what AI can create. Art, code, videos, essays. But what they're not talking about is what AI can destroy. Because right now, there's an arms race happening online. Hackers are using AI to get smarter, faster, and harder to detect. And if you're not paying attention, you could get caught in the crossfire. Artificial intelligence is seemingly everywhere and it is increasingly being used to create sophisticated scams that are even leaving experts second guessing. AI has changed everything. What used to take a hacker hours, scanning for vulnerabilities, writing scripts, crafting phishing messages, can now be done in seconds. We're seeing AI generate perfect phishing emails, fake invoices, cloned voices, and deep faked executives asking for wire transfers. It's getting insane. AI can make a video call using material of me they could find online. Hey, sweetie, can you pick up milk, eggs, and cereal at the store on your way home tonight? Thanks. See you later tonight. Oh, my. And it's not just random criminals anymore. Entire attack groups are building automated systems that learn and adapt on their own. And here's the scary part. Humans were already the weakest link in cybersecurity. AI just made that weakness easier to exploit. You've got deep fake phone calls impersonating CEOs, phishing emails that look perfect, and malicious chatbots pretending to be tech support. The average employee can't tell what's real anymore. And that's exactly what attackers want. But look, it's, it's not all doom and gloom about AI. The good guys have AI too. Cybersecurity tools are getting smarter. They're learning from patterns, predicting attacks, and shutting down threats automatically. Modern antivirus and endpoint tools are using AI to spot anomalies humans would never catch. But here's the issue. This race isn't balanced. Hackers can experiment endlessly. Businesses, they have budgets, policies, and red tape. Big companies have the tools, budgets, and experts. Small and medium-sized businesses, not so much. And attackers know that. SMBs are now favorite targets because they have valuable data, weaker defenses, and often think we're too small to be hacked. AI doesn't care how big you are. It just cares how vulnerable you are. You've probably already seen the results of this. There's AI-generated investment scams, fake invoices, cloned voices, deep fake calls, asking employees to transfer money. I, I talk about this in another video. It's happening right now. We're seeing it all over the place. And these aren't dumb scams anymore. They're smart, adaptive, and convincing. Some even respond if you push back. Imagine getting a phone call from your CEO's exact voice saying, hey, we need to get this done fast. Would you question it? I would. I always question the CEO. I will always, always question the CEO. I'm just kidding. Don't get fired. That's on you. So how do we fight this? You can't outsmart AI by ignoring it. You have to use it smarter. That means AI-powered defense tools, yes. But also AI-aware training. Your employees need to know what deep fakes sound like what perfect phishing emails look like, and what questions to ask before they click anything. Because the best firewall, it's still a human one. It just needs an upgrade. And businesses need to adapt, fast. Audit your current defenses. Use AI-based security tools that can spot behavior changes, not just signatures. Train your team on modern threats. And don't just focus on software. Document your processes. Have checks for verification, communication, and incident response. Let's have a game plan here. The goal isn't to be bulletproof. It's to be harder to hit than the next target. I like to think of this as a uh, zombie apocalypse. If there was one, all I gotta do is run faster than the guy next to me. AI isn't good or bad. It's just powerful. And like any tool, it depends on who's using it. Right now, attackers are moving faster because they don't play by the rules. Businesses are stuck playing catch up. But if you use AI responsibly to protect, not just profit, you're ahead of most people already. We're in a new era of cybersecurity and pretending this isn't happening won't make it go away. So take it seriously. Stay curious, stay cautious, because in this arms race, the only thing worse than being a target is being unaware you already are. I'll see you in the next one.